Alright, welcome back to my channel, Math and Language. This is James, your Math and Language Instructor. And for this video, we're going to tackle about selling price in Chapter 3 of How to Do Costing. So from our previous videos, we have Chapter 1, Percentage, and Chapter 2 is Cost and Markup. So let's start. What is selling price? Selling price, the actual price for which it is sold to the customer. So bakit nga ba kailangan ng selling price? Kasi... Dito tayo kumukuha ng tubo para maging matatag yung business natin. Kung hindi maayos yung paglagay mo ng selling price, hindi ka kikita ng maayos. Moving on, let's have some terminologies. First one, we have cost. Cost is the price that the business pays for a product. For example, nagbebenta ka ng cake. So lahat ng ginasos mo para dun sa ingredients, kuryente, labor cost, overhead cost, ayun yung cost. It's the price that the business pays for a product. So, ano naman yung markup? Markup, ulitin natin, yung amount na in natin dun sa cost price of goods to cover the overhead and profit. So, markup rate naman, ito yung percentage, which a trader adds to the buy-in cost. So, ito naman yung percentage. Per percents naman siya, percent. Selling price, ito yung actual price for which it is sold to the customer. So, huwag kayong malito dun sa cost at selling price. Okay, formula time tayo. We have the selling price for S, C per cost, and R for markup rate. So, nandito na lahat ng formula, tatlo. S is equal to C times the quantity 1 plus R, and C is equal to S over 1 plus R, and R is equal to S over C minus 1. So, just memorize the tatlong formula or para magagamit natin to sa mga susunod na problems. Let's have some examples and solutions. First one, we have Rachel decided to sell her baked goods. The cost of making one is 30 pesos and she wants to put a 30% markup on it. What will be the selling price? Okay, nagbebenta si Rachel ng baked goods. Minibenta niya, I mean, yung cost para makagawa nito ay 30 pesos. At lalagay niya ng 30% markup. An magkano kaya selling price? Alamin natin. Gather all the givens, so yung cost natin ay 30 pesos, ang markup rate is 30%. So then yung R. Formula to be used. So, eh, ang selling price ay equal sa cost times the quantity 1 plus R. Alright, let's solve. So the selling price is equal to 30 times the quantity 1 plus 0.3. Selling price is equal to 30 plus 9 and S is equal to 39. So, the selling price of each baked goods will be 39 pesos. So, yung baked goods niya na 30 pesos, pinagdaga niya ng 30, pinatuka niya ng 30% markup, binibenta niya na ito ng 39. So, yung 9 pesos yung parang markup natin. Next example tayo. Tina is selling chocolate chip cookies for 25 pesos each and the cost of making one is 20 pesos. What is the markup rate? So step one, gather all the givens. We have a selling price of 25 pesos and a cost of 20 pesos. Formula to be used. So the formula is R or the markup rate is equal to selling price over cost. Yung sagot nun, ma-minus natin ng 1. Let's solve. So, so 25 over 20 minus ng 1. 25 over 20 is 1.25, minus 1 is 0.25. We change it to percent, so we multiply it by 100, and we put the percentage sign, so 25%. So the markup rate is 25%. Last problem tayo. Madam Mean is selling milk tea for 120 pesos with a markup rate of 20%. What is the cost of the milk tea? Step 1. Gather all the givens. We have selling price is 120 and the markup rate is 0.2. Step 2. Formula to be used. We have C is equal to selling price over the quantity 1 plus R. So let's solve. So the cost is equal to 120 over mo ng 1 plus 0.2 is ang equal nun ay 100. So we can say that the cost of the milk tea is 100 pesos. Alright, so this is the end of the video. 
I hope you liked the video for how to do costing chapter 3 selling price. Next video, we will tackle about discounts in chapter 4. For all the chapters, it is below in the description box. And if you would like to comment and suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. If you want more videos of math and language, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.